Howdy folks, we left Kimmelt leaving 20 minutes ago, we're on the West Highland Way and we are heading in to a pretty remote boffy, there's some heavy rain incoming so we're hoping to get to the boffy before the rain arrives but that's three hours time, it's about three four hour walk to the boffy so it's touch and go. <laughs> If you see that dam, you've come too far. Too busy going there. Aye, too busy going there with that, so we're just going to retrace our steps here. Right, we got that initial slog out the way. The West Highland Way branched off to the right, we stayed on the left. And now we're going to join, it's like a, a concrete water conduct or conduct. What we'll do is we're going to walk along that because it's flatter and that'll take us right to the Blackwater Dam. Yeah, the old Navy's graveyard, it's always a sombre yet peaceful place to visit. Just makes you think back to those times when they were building this dam. Must have been proper grim, especially in winter. Unfortunately, there's big muckle fences stopping you crossing the dam, so you have to go underneath or sort of the base of the dam and walk along that instead. It's just finding the start. Here it is folks. Here's the boffy for the night. Just kidding obviously. Let's go. <laughs> right folks, if you find that pump house just behind me there, get around the side of that and it should take you onto the path to the dam, hopefully. <laughs> Tell you what folks, negotiating this dam is a little adventure in itself. <laughs> So you've got two downstairs rooms, pretty basic stone floor. And where it's all happening is upstairs. I just heard Greg's seal of approval there, down the lines of effing smashing. Mm -hmm. 
but uh, empty buck fast in the corner, typically Scottish. Mr. Greg. And this is where we'll be staying tonight, the main room, the penthouse, the honeymoon suite, with the good sleeping platform, and you've got a little fire here. I don't know if you can just make that out. There you go. Good cooking platform over there as well. Right, that's the lights up. Are you ready for the Blackpool big switch on? Here goes, fingers crossed this works. Ta-da! Super boss. Boffy, boffy coffee always tastes good, eh? Mm. Ah, good. Well, I don't actually know, because I've never had it. <laughs> my first boffy, is it? Well, not the first I've been in loads, but I've never slept in one. I've never stayed in a boffy. Hear that, folks? Greg's going to break his virgin, his buffy virginity. Just never fancied sharing it with a bunch of nerds, but I thought we'd do alright up here. Aye. Should be pretty fine here, like. When we came in earlier, honestly, there was mice drop ins all over this kitchen area, so. Uh, but to sort of sweep out, try and clean it just a little bit. Just paranoid, making sure my cutlery doesn't touch the, the table or anything like that. You stuck in the fire on? Nice one, mate. What time is it? Six o'clock? Fine, that will do. Alrighty, folks, fire's going on, and the snack of the trip is these Idahoan Perfect Mash Bubble and Squeak. I know the hikers. Like the packet stuff, good way of just getting some quick calories in. So this will accompany my mac cheese. So let's get some hot water on the go. Let's see how this bubble and squeak turns out then. Here goes folks, some nice congealed mac cheese, some bubble and squeak. Mmm, that's good. What a combination by the way. <laughs> Seriously. See if you served this up to me in the house, I'd be like, yeah, it's all right, bit of boffy. Magic. <laughs> mm. The boffy TV is on. One channel. <laughs> Lots of warm goodness. <laughs> it's just gone eight o'clock. We've got two logs left. I can't see these lasting beyond nine o'clock, to be honest. If it does, that'll be good. <laughs> Ten o'clock would be perfect, but... Uh, we'll see how we go. Somebody else has just arrived. Wait to see if they're going to come in here. They're good people. They come, they come. Right, that's the last log going on. Oh, <laughs> just break it all up. actually just got soaked having a pee outside the door. Gee, this is a tad, right? Just a tad. Those river crossings will be interesting tomorrow. Uh, I think it may be on the knees. The couple that are next door, they said there was a boots off job getting across those two rivers. <laughs> it's amazing the difference in what four know. rivers. Exactly. Yeah. We breezed over them. Yep. You've seen the video yourself. Uh, oh well, it is what it is. Righty, early night. <laughs> Leaving a school night.
Wake up and smell the boffy. <laughs> Good morning. The rain has stopped. It's just a bit damp outside. But, uh, yeah, let's get some coffee and breakfast on the go, I think. So for breakfast, I've got my Horlicks and my porridge in a bag. Well, that was a, a cracking overnighter in the Loch Hyrene Boffy. In my opinion, arguably one of the best boffies in Scotland. That might be a bit of a hard push, but definitely the best in the West Highlands. Anyways, we're going to see what this, or these river crossings are like. We've got two to go before we get back to the dam. So uh, I'll bring you back then. Okay folks, we have reached the first river crossing. It's a little bit swollen, but not terrible. That's Greg across the dry feet. I crossed here yesterday. You can't actually see the stepping stones I used. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. I got over no problem, although the water came in over my ankle. That's the joy of wearing mid boots. Anyways, I'm going to push on. What I'll do is I'll leave you a couple of other Buffy videos if you wish to watch. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.